Hello students. In the last video, we have learned to find the square root by long division method. Let's solve some questions based on long division method. Let's discuss this question. Find the least number which must be subtracted from 7581 to obtain a perfect square. Find the perfect square and its square root. So let's try to find the square root of this number that is 7581 by long division method. So let's write the number here first. Try, try to make the pairs from ones place digit. Our first pair from the extreme left is equal, uh, is equal to 75. We know that the square number just less than 75 is equal to 64. We know that 64 is the square of 8. So our divisor as well as quotient here is 8. Multiply 8 is 64. Find the remainder that is equal to 11. Bring down the next pair here. Now our new dividend is equal to 1181. Now double the quotient here that is 16 with a blank on its right. Now guess a largest possible digit to fill the blank which also becomes the new digit in the quotient such that here also we have to write that digit when the new digit is multiplied to the new divisor the product is either less than or equal to 1181. So here our required number is 7 and we multiply 167 into 7 we, we will get 1169. Find the remainder that is equal to 12. So here remainder is not equal to 0. So we should subtract 12 from 7581 to make it a perfect square. So let us subtract 12 from 7581 that is equal to 7569. This is the perfect square. Now, the square root of this perfect square, 7569 is equal to 87. Let's discuss next question. What least number must be added to 5607 to make the sum a perfect square? Find the perfect square and its square root. The solution is Let's try to find the square root of this number 5607 by long division method. So for that first we have to write the number here. Make the pairs from right uh, ones digit. And our first period is starting from left. That is equal to 56. We know that the square number just less than 56 is equal to 49. So and we know that. 49 is the square of 7. So our divisor as well as the quotient is equal to 7. Multiply them. 49 we got. And find the remainder here. That is equal to 7. Bring down the next pair. Now our new dividend is equal to 707. Now double the quotient here. 14 with a, a blank on its right. Now Find that great, uh, greatest possible digit to fill the blanks which is also become the new digit in the quotient such that when the new digit is multiplied to the new divisor the product is either less than or equal to 7, 707. So here the required digit is equal to 4. If you multiply 144 into 4 we will get 576. Find the remainder. Now Again, one step we have to do here. Again, we will do the long division here. Same step here. Here we got 7, 49, remainder 7. Bring back the next pair here. Now our new dividend is 707. Here we have to take, in the last step we have taken 4 here. But here after doubling this digit that is 14, here we have to take the successor of 4 that is 5. Now multiply 145 by 5, 
we got 725. We know that 725 is greater than 707. Here we have to find the difference between these two numbers. For that we have to subtract 707 from 725. That is equal to 18. The difference between these two numbers is 18. From these two, uh, two steps we conclude that 74 square less than 5607 less than 75 square that is 5607 is 18 18 we got the difference between 725 and 707 it is 18 less than 75 square so we must add 18 to 5607 that is, to make it a perfect square, we had to add, we must add 18 to 5607 to make it a, to make it a perfect square. So, add 5607 and 18, we will get 5620. Five. Now, the square root of this perfect square will be 75. That is equal to 75. I hope you have understood the concept. Here is your home assignment for today. And that's all for today. Thank you.